Astrobot credits hint at unseen cameos potentially in forthcoming free DLC. Astrobots end credits thank the various third-party developers and publishers who license their characters for use as cameo bots, including those currently not in the game. The PlayStation 5 exclusive 3D platformer features 173 bot cameos from PlayStation games past and present. Check out IGN's feature, Astrobot, every PlayStation character, Easter eggs for more. The free DLC will arrive this year. Confirmed Team Asobi's Nicholas Doucette in an interview with Quest Daily, but it will be small and focus on speedruns following its popularity in Astro's Playroom. Leaderboards will be included. Astrobots and Credits thank various companies whose characters have so far failed to show up, prompting speculation that the credits point to upcoming DLC. What's more, some characters that we didn't include yet will appear, said Doucette. The DLC will focus on challenging levels, but the team will also add a toy feeling suitable for any players, Doucette continued, though we're not too sure about that one. However, while Doucette didn't confirm which VIP bots were on the way, the game's credits do provide hints. Stop here if you want to avoid potential spoilers. Team Asobi thanks third-party publishers for use of their characters in the credits, but there are some here that don't currently appear in the game. Those companies include Shift Up and the use of Stellar Blade, Ubisoft and the use of Rayman, Beyond Good and Evil, and Assassin's Creed, Koei Tecmo and the use of Rise of the Ronin, and Argonaut Games for the use of Croc. The credits thank Ubisoft, for example, for the inclusion of Assassin's Creed, Beyond Good and Evil, and Rayman, even though characters from those franchises are not in the game yet. There's also a mention of the recently revived Croc, Worms, and the more recently released Stellar Blade and Rise of the Ronin, both of which are currently PS5 exclusives. There is no mention, however, of Square Enix, whose iconic Final Fantasy characters are conspicuous by their absence in Astrobot, an omission fans have picked up on in the context of Final Fantasy's long-standing association with PlayStation.